Recently, I was speaking with one of my subscribers, Kelsey, who lives in California. And Kelsey was telling me that she enjoys practicing with my videos because they make it seem like it's okay and appropriate to have her walk her close by for support while she practices. And I think that's awesome. So today I'd like to share with you four common yoga poses that I frequently teach in my videos and in my classes and how to modify these postures when you have mobility issues. So I'll show you standing versions and sitting versions so that you can find the right version for your body. My name is Zalinda and I specialize in teaching yoga so that people with all kinds of bodies can participate and benefit. Let's get started. yoga practice, you're going to need some kind of support for the standing postures. So if you have a walker, you can certainly use your walker or you can use a chair. Now I have two chairs here today just to demonstrate a couple of things. Um, make sure please that you're picking a chair of a good height. So this chair right here is a little bit too low. Um, my fingertips are barely reaching it if I want to hold on to it well. For support, I have to lean forward, you know, which isn't great for posture and for the purposes of the yoga practice. So I also have this taller chair here with me today. And this one is a much better height for me because I can stand upright. I can bend my elbows, lengthen my spine, have some space in the front of my body, you know, open up the chest and the lungs so that I can breathe well. So take a moment, please, to find the right kind of support for your yoga practice. And we'll get started here in just a minute. Okay, now that you have found the appropriate support for your yoga practice, let's go ahead and get started. So today I'm gonna to be teaching a yoga practice that involves four postures that I frequently teach in my classes. And as we go along working through the four postures, I'm going to show you different variations so that you can pick the one that works best for you. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, I frequently teach in my classes, um, at the start of practice to elevate up onto the toes and come down. So the breathing is inhale, up, exhale, down. So since we're currently in a standing position, let's try that one. If it works for you, if it feels stable enough, what you're going to do is stand close to your support, close enough that you can stand as upright as possible. You can bend your elbows so that you can relax your shoulders down and get a you know, good sturdy grip on whatever you're using for support. Then if it feels safe and okay for you, you can inhale and come up onto your toes. Exhale, slowly lower down. If you like this version, go ahead and continue practicing it now. And I'm gonna show you a second version. The second version, it's gonna look like you're not doing anything. Like if someone's watching you, it's gonna look like you're just standing there, but really you're gonna be strengthening your legs so on inhale, activate all the muscles in your legs, make them strong. And then on exhale, relax the muscles in your legs, just like that. So inhale, activate, exhale, and relax. And if you like this version, go ahead and continue. Please remember to take a break at any time. So I'll just keep talking and I'll show you now the sitting version of the same posture. You can keep practicing or take a break when you need to. For the sitting version, you're gonna sit on your chair. So I'm gonna sit a little bit facing an angle so that you can see exactly what I'm doing. And we have two ways to do this in a sitting position. So please, if you can, sit up on the front edge of your chair. Again, lengthen your spine, relax your shoulders. And then you can inhale, lift your heels up. Exhale, slowly lower down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale down, continue doing this one if you prefer. Or again, you can just sit still and appear like you're doing nothing, but you will know that you're working on strengthening your legs. So on inhale, activate all the muscles in your legs, even your glutes, and then exhale and relax. And again, inhale, activate all the muscles in the lower body. Exhale, relax. All right, so we've got four versions there of this posture. You can pick the one that works well for you. 
regardless of which one you're doing, you're definitely working on strengthening the muscles in your legs and working on your balance and stability. Another pose that we frequently practice in yoga is forward folding. And in my classes, we probably do it at least two or three or four times per practice. And we can certainly do this standing or sitting with the support of a walker or a chair. So again, stand close to your support. Stand close enough that your arms are hanging down alongside you, your elbows are bent, and your shoulders are relaxed. And you want to make sure that your feet are a comfortable distance apart. Um, number one, so that your hips are comfortable, but number two, for a little bit of extra stability. So of course, when we stand with our feet together, it's less stable. And when we stand with our feet apart, it's more stable. All right, so once you have your posture set up, um, this is how we'll do it. We'll do inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, bend your knees and fold as much as you're comfortable. Inhale, use the strength of your legs to lift you back up. Exhale, relax your shoulders. Let's do it one more time. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, bend your knees, fold as much as you're comfortable. Inhale, strong legs lift you back up. And then exhale, shoulders relax. If you like the standing version, go ahead and continue with it. And now I'm gonna show you the sitting version. So once again, you'll sit toward the front edge of your chair, your feet a little bit apart, maybe about hip width apart, spine lengthened, shoulders relaxed. So here we'll do inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, slide your hands down your legs as much as you're comfortable. Inhale, slide back up. Exhale, shoulders relax. If you want to, you could add arms here. Inhale, arms forward and up to your comfort level. Exhale, hands onto the knees. Exhale, fold. Inhale, slide back up. Exhale, shoulders relax. All right, so hopefully you found a version that works well for you. We will be coming back to forward folding later in this practice. Next, we're working on Warrior One. Warrior One is a great posture for working on strength and stability in the lower body and mobility in the upper body. And if you're doing it in a standing orientation, this is how you'll do it. You're gonna step your left foot forward and keep your right foot a little bit back. And of course, you wanna make sure that your stance is also a little bit wide so that you have a firm and steady foundation. Okay, once you have set up your feet position, you wanna make sure that you're close enough to your support and you're not having to lean forward and reach. So if you need to, just bring your support back closer toward you. And we have options here. So we have um, two components of this posture. One is bending the front knee. And so on inhale, we bend the knee and on exhale, we straighten. And if that is enough work for you today, you can do the posture just like that, do the lower body part. If you're feeling pretty stable and you want to try the upper body part, this is what I would suggest. You can do inhale, front knee bends, and opposite arm, we're gonna bring it up to a cactus position, so elbow bent, and we're drawing the arm back. And then exhale, knee straightens, arms come down. Inhale, knee bends, arm goes up. Exhale, knee straightens, arms go down. If you're feeling very stable today and you're comfortable bringing your hands off of your support, you can do both arms. So inhale, both arms bend. Exhale, knee straightens, arms come down. Inhale, knee bends, arms come up. Exhale, knee straightens arms go down. All right, there are some ideas. Please feel free to mix and match. Maybe you want to do arms only and not legs. Maybe you want to do legs only and not arms. Maybe today you do it one way and tomorrow you do it another way. You really can get creative and do the posture in the way that works best for you. Let's go ahead and do the second side. So step your left foot back, step your right foot forward, and we're gonna go through a few repetitions. Now that you have an idea of all the ways that Warrior One can be practiced, go ahead and pick your version and let's do four rounds. So on inhale, you can begin to move. And exhale. 
Inhale, the front knee bends, maybe one arm comes up. Exhale, knee straightens, arms down. Inhale, maybe you're doing just the front knee bending. And exhale, straighten. Or maybe you're doing just arms. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, both arms down. All right, that's about four rounds right there. Go ahead and take a break. You can step your feet so that they're alongside each other. And let's move again to forward folding. I'll demonstrate the standing version. You can do this one with me if you'd like, or if you prefer, you can do the sitting version. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, bend your knees and fold. Inhale, come up. Exhale. Shoulders relax one more time. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend your knees and fold. Inhale, strong legs lift you up. Exhale, shoulders relax. Okay, now let me show you the sitting versions of Warrior. All right, so in the sitting versions of Warrior, we can do any combination of strengthening the legs in this static position and bringing up the arms. So let's go ahead and do all of them together or I'll cue all of them and you can pick what you want to do for your body. All right, so on an inhale, both legs strong, arms come up to the cactus arm shape. Exhale, legs relax, arms come down. Inhale, legs are strong, arms come up. Exhale, legs relax, arms come down. Inhale, legs are strong, arms up. Exhale, legs relax, arms come down. Inhale, legs strong, arms come up. Exhale, legs relax, and arms come down. All right, I'm going to take a little break right here to introduce the concept of Ahimsa. So you can just relax for a little bit. You can practice your breathing, long and smooth breaths, and I'll tell you about Ahimsa. So Ahimsa means non-harm. And what it really means um, in, this, in the context of a yoga practice is that we always practice in a way that doesn't harm us. It's not harming our body. It's not harming our mind. It's not even harming our breath. And so you know, practically what that means is that we should take breaks when we need to. You know, we can practice hard. We can do a lot of work. Um, if we start to notice that our breathing becomes kind of ragged or if we start to become fatigued, then it's time to take a break. So please always feel comfortable taking a break at any time and you can always rejoin the practice when you're ready. Okay, let's look at another posture. Triangle is another posture that makes frequent appearances in my yoga videos and in my classes. So let's look at some ways that we can practice triangle. Um, typically in the triangle pose, we step the feet wide. So if it's comfortable for you, you can take a wide stance. If you feel unstable, if you take a wide stance, go ahead and keep it a little bit narrower. That'll be perfectly fine. Triangle is a side bending posture. So there's different ways that you can do it. If it's comfortable for you, um, this is how you can start. You can do inhale, stretch your right arm out toward the side. Exhale, side bend toward the left so that the right arm comes up. Then inhale, come back up, your arm stretches out. Exhale, hands come, both hands onto your support. Then we switch over to the other side. So inhale, left arm stretches out, exhale, Side bend, left arm stretches up. Inhale to the center, arm stretches out. Exhale, return your hand onto your support. All right, let's do that one one more time. Inhale, right arm stretches out. Exhale, left side bend. Inhale, come up to the center, arm stretches out. Exhale, hand returns to your support. Now the other side. Inhale, left arm stretches out. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, up to the center. Exhale, arm returns to your support. Okay, take a little break. If you've just done that, you can step your feet together if you'd like. All right, so that's one version. Here's the thing. 
when we extend one arm up toward the ceiling, it can be pretty destabilizing, like it can make you feel unsteady on your feet. So another way that you can do this without stretching the arm up toward the ceiling is you can go this way. So you can do inhale, left arm stretches out, exhale, side bend left, and then your hands coming to your leg for a little bit of extra support. Inhale, back up to the center, exhale, hand rests on your support. Now the other side, inhale, right arm stretches out, exhale, side bend, inhale, center, exhale, hand returns to the chair. One more time, inhale, exhale, side bend, hand comes to the leg, inhale, center, exhale, hand to chair. Second side, inhale, right arm out, exhale, side bend, inhale, center, exhale, hand on to the support. All right, great, so you have two options there. Take a break anytime or continue practicing whatever works well for you. Um, I wanna give you a little bit more information about this triangle standing versions before we move to sitting. So in the yoga practice, we always do everything on both sides of the body. Um, if you're practicing triangle in one of these ways that I just described, and I'm cueing it in a different way, don't worry if you go left. When I say go right, it's totally fine. Just make sure that you do both sides. Um, you can start on one side, I can start on the other, but we're both going to end up completing both sides and that's completely fine. All right, now let's go ahead and look at sitting versions of triangle. So again, you'll sit on your chair up toward the front edge of it. A nice um, wide stance for your feet so that you have a stable foundation. You have similar options here. Um, I may even give you one extra one. So you can do maybe two extra ones. Um, you can do inhale, stretch both arms out. Exhale, side bend. You can bring one arm down and one arm up. Inhale to the center. Exhale, go to the other side. Inhale, center. Exhale, arms rest down. Or you can do, let's do an armless version. So inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, just slide over toward the left. Inhale, center, exhale, right, inhale, center, exhale, rest. Okay, so there's two new versions, and then you can also do the type of movement we did while we were standing. So that first we did inhale, right arm stretches out, exhale, side bend left, inhale, up to the center, Exhale, this arm down. Now the other side, inhale, left arm out. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, center. Exhale, this arm down. Or inhale, left arm out. Exhale, side bend left. Inhale, left arm out. Exhale, arm down. Then the second side, inhale, right arm out. Exhale, side bend right. Inhale, right arm out. Exhale, right arm down. All right, so there's four versions of how you can do triangle in a sitting position. There are even more. <laughs> Let me take a minute to explain that it is perfectly fine to get creative with the yoga practice just because the teacher or me, um, I am teaching it in one particular way. It doesn't mean that you have to do it exactly the same way. Please feel free to make any adjustments you need to make. And if you need help figuring out what kind of adjustment to make, send me an email. I'll be happy to help you out with that. All right, now let's work on forward folding one more time. I'll go ahead and stay seated if you want to do your forward folding in a standing position, you're welcome to do that. You can move to standing. All right, here we go. So on inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, slide your hands down. Inhale, slide back up. Exhale, shoulders relax. 
If you're comfortable with a little bit more intensity, inhale, arms come up as much as you're comfortable. Exhale, hands down onto your knees, slide down, fold. Inhale, slide back up. Exhale, shoulders relax. Let's do one more, pick your version. Exhale, fold. Inhale, slide back up. Exhale, shoulders relax. All right, very good. I had fun doing this. I hope that this video was helpful for you, gave you some ideas about how to adjust the practice and reinforce the idea that your practice doesn't need to look the same as the teacher's. You can definitely adjust the practice do half of a posture, lower half, top half, left half, right half, do whatever works for you. If you are moving your body and breathing, or even if you're staying still and breathing, you're doing yoga, you're doing a mindful practice, which is going to have lots of great benefits for your nervous system and for your body. Thank you for being here, sharing this practice with me today. If you have any questions about anything that we covered, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can write a note in the comments or you can send me an email. I will put my email address in the description box below. All right, have a great day and I'll see you next time. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click the like button and you can also subscribe and click the notification bell so that YouTube will let you know every time I upload a new video. I'll see you next time.